Solid composite is found under the channel category. This one's really simple, but it can be effective in some unique situations. My logo here has an alpha channel, so there's nothing behind this graphic. It's a transparent background. But if I apply the solid composite effect to that layer, it just generates a background and fills in the bounds of that layer. I could change that color to be something completely different. Maybe make it a little bit darker. I could change the source opacity to fade that logo into that solid, or I could change the opacity of the solid composite itself. And finally, I'm even able to blend it using all of these blending modes that are very similar to the blending modes we have for the layer itself. It's a very specific little effect, but it can come in handy sometimes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.